What if a starship could refuel itself while flying through space? That's the alluring promise of the interstellar ramjet, a concept so visionary, it sounds like something out of deep science fiction. Yet it's grounded in real physics, and it offers a tantalizing solution to one of space travel's most paralyzing problems, fuel. Instead of carrying massive fuel tanks, imagine a spacecraft that scoops up hydrogen from the thin interstellar medium and uses it to power a fusion engine, generating thrust continuously as it races toward the stars. No storage, no weight penalty, just an endless cosmic fuel line. This idea, first proposed by physicist Robert W. Bussard in 1960, became known as the Bussard Ramjet. And on paper, it sounds perfect. But there's a catch. Actually, several. To make fusion work, that is, to fuse hydrogen atoms and release usable energy, you need temperatures of hundreds of millions of degrees and pressures found only in the hearts of stars. Creating that environment on Earth has already taken decades of research and billions of dollars, and it's still not fully solved. Now imagine building a fusion reactor that can run reliably in space, inside a starship, while processing interstellar hydrogen particles that are scattered like a whisper in a vast void. It's a monumental engineering leap. But that's not the biggest problem. Here's the paradox. The ramjet only works at extremely high speeds, close to a significant fraction of light speed. Why? Because the interstellar medium is so sparse, the ship must be flying very fast just to collect enough hydrogen per second to ignite fusion. But getting to those relativistic speeds in the first place? That requires a different propulsion system with all the same problems we've already discussed. Fuel limitations, radiation risks, and years of acceleration. This is the catch-22 of the Bussard ramjet. You can't start using it until you're already flying at speeds that are almost impossible to reach with any current or near-future technology. And it gets worse. Detailed physics simulations suggest that instead of accelerating the ship, the ramjet might actually slow it down. That's because scooping hydrogen at relativistic speeds creates enormous drag. The hydrogen resists being collected cleanly and transfers kinetic energy back into the spacecraft, acting like a cosmic break. Even if you could overcome that, there's the issue of controlling the fusion reaction. Most hydrogen in space is just plain old protons, hydrogen one. To get clean fusion, you typically need heavier isotopes like deuterium or tritium, which are rare in the interstellar medium. So the ship might be scooping up fuel it can't even use. There are ideas to fix this. Some versions of the concept propose magnetic funnels, massive electromagnetic fields stretching thousands of kilometers wide that concentrate incoming particles. Others suggest combining initial onboard fuel with later in-flight harvesting to create a hybrid propulsion cycle. Still, we are far from turning these ideas into working models. And yet, the appeal of the interstellar ramjet refuses to die. Why? Because it solves the biggest problem of all, the tyranny of mass. The faster you want to go, the more fuel you need. The more fuel you carry, the heavier your ship. The heavier your ship, the more fuel you need. It's a self-defeating loop, unless you don't carry fuel at all. That's why the ramjet remains in the theoretical toolbox of future spacefaring civilizations. Maybe not for the first missions, maybe not even in the next century. But one day, if we master fusion and electromagnetic field generation, it might become the standard engine of the stars. There's also something poetic about it, a ship that flies through the void, feeding on the space between stars, powered not by fire, but by the raw materials of the cosmos, a starship that becomes part of the interstellar ecosystem. At Infinity Beyond, we believe that ideas like the ramjet, even if flawed, push the boundaries of imagination and innovation. They dare us to think bigger, reach farther, and never stop chasing the horizon.